So imagine, if you will, a canvas that just never ends, right? And you can build these like sprawling fictional worlds on there. And it's all powered by AI. Yeah, that's patchwork right there in a nutshell. It's a, it's a bit like stepping into... Um, like a shared dream, yeah. a shared yeah. dream space. Where well. You can not only kind of build your own worlds, but also what other people are creating. You can create portals to your own worlds, mm -hmm. and then you can choose whether they're public or private. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's all about that collaborative storytelling vibe. I'm already getting ideas. Okay, how do we actually create in this world? I keep hearing about this this toolbox. Yeah, the toolbox. That's kind of your command center, right? Mm -hmm. Let's look at it on the left side of your screen. And it has all these tools that let you generate like all the building blocks of your story. Characters, mm -hmm. factions. Can you select multiple scraps at once? Like if you want to move a whole bunch. Yeah, of course. Drag a box around them. Okay. Now, you can fill in all the details yourself, obviously. But, and here's where the AI magic kicks in. You can use this feature. Uh, it's called Tell Me More. Tell Me More. It's like having a brainstorming partner who's also like a super powered research assistant. You just give it a little nudge and it can help you flesh out your ideas mm. based on what's already in your world. Hold on. So the AI will actually help me create characters. <laughs> That's <laughs> wild. Okay. But before we get too deep into all the AI stuff. Once you've selected a scrap or a group of scraps, yeah. you'll see what they call an action bar appear above them. Okay. That's where the real magic happens. It offers a bunch of context sensitive actions. One of the most impressive actions is called paint, and it lets you generate images directly within Patchwork. No need to go to a separate program for that. Mm -hmm. Nope, that's handy. It really works on text scraps, but any images that are also selected can influence the generation as well. So like I could select a character description and then also like an image with a specific art style that I like, and it'll try to blend those together. Exactly. Are there other ways to kind of fine tune that image generation process. You can also use uh, what they call style reference scraps and character reference scraps. So you can go even deeper. 